college. Here come the mighty Wildcats of Central! Here come the Bulldogs! If they don't know who they're messing with, go light them up! That ring's blue! That ring's blue, baby! That ring's blue, baby! Ah, yeah, the sights and sounds of the annual bell game. Ding, ding. It's a tradition unlike any other here in Southern Colorado, the annual bell game. Good evening and welcome to the Friday Night Blitz, powered by Pikes Peak State College. I'm your host, Rob Namno. Now, for those who don't know, Pueblo Central and Pueblo Centennial have been playing football against one another since the leather helmet days of 1892. For more on what color the bell rings tonight, let's join Danny Mata for complete coverage of the annual bell game. Good evening, Danny. Good evening, Rob. And yeah, how much fun was this one? You know, no one does high school football in Colorado quite like Pueblo. This place was absolutely packed. It was a lot of fun. Pueblo Central had won the bell the last three years. They came in with a record of three and two. But Centennial at two and three, much improved from last year, looking to take the bell back. Let's go to the highlights for the 2022 bell game. And boy, there's that bell. You can hear it. Everyone's juiced and ready to go. This is going to be a fun one as it is every single year. And Central gets going right away off the fake punt. Amari Brown's going to pick up the first down. The ball was snapped directly to him. Big gain there to keep the drive alive. And then later, Brown going to run it off that side for 24 yards for the touchdown. And Brown was just getting started. Two-point conversion good. It's 8-0 Central. And then later, Brown, another big run for him as he was just impossible for Centennial to contain. And it would lead to this. Michael Montoya with a one-yard touchdown run. It's 16-0 Central after the two-point conversion. How about this play? The slopper special. Brown on the reverse running back option finds Caden Clay for the touchdown. It's 22 to nothing. And then later, Brown again. This dude was unstoppable. Another touchdown, another two point conversion. It's 30 to nothing Central. Centennial, though, would not quit in this game. Tate Montoya with the sack for Centennial. And the student section was in this despite the score. No matter what it looked like, they were great all game. But late. With Central with a chance to put it away, Josiah Barella off of the deflection with the interception, and that would do it. Pueblo Central wins it 30 to nothing. They take the bell for the fourth straight year. The bell is ringing blue. It's just very important, man. Like, for me to be a sophomore and be able to have all my big seniors be able to leave with the bell, you know, they get to walk in Monday morning and see the bell where it's supposed to be. It's just, it's overall a lot of joy, you know. It's just, it's hard to not be happy in moments like these. It feels great. I mean, we're trying to continue it past next year, past on and on, but it's a great honor, like, to play in the game. I just love it. The atmosphere is crazy, and I couldn't ask for a better team. Yeah, you know, Rob, the atmosphere out here was fantastic. And as I mentioned, the Centennial student section, they stayed in this game all the way. Even when they were getting blown out, they were, they were hyped up. They were ready to go. I was really impressed with them and just some good football. Centennial really just didn't have the ball a whole lot today because Central controlled the clock from start to finish. And Amari Brown is the reason why. Thank you for that, Danny. Greatly appreciated. Hey, there's still more.